let's review the double check valve assembly test using the Mako MK3 three valve test kit. The first step is to flush the test cocks starting with number one and then two and then three and finally number four. Attach a bleed off valve arrangement or compensating valve to test cock number two. If test cock number three is not the highest point on the assembly body, attach a sight tube to test cock number three. We'll power on our MK3 by pressing and holding the power button. And then we'll toggle the backlight on. Press and hold the back button to clear saved values. Then close all the MK3 valves. Connect the hose from the high side of the MK3 to the bleed off valve arrangement on test cock number two. Slowly open test cock number two. Slowly open the bypass valve and then the high control valve to bleed air from the hose and the gauge. Close the high control valve. Slowly open test cock number three to fill the sight tube with water. Then close test cock number three. Next we'll close the shutoff valve number two. Maintain the rate of change graph to be level with the top of the sight tube. Close shutoff valve number one. Then slowly open test cock number three. Once water has stopped flowing from the sight tube or is no more than a drip, and the reading on the test gauge has stabilized, press the capture button to record the pressure differential across the number one check valve. Close test cocks two and three. Remove the hose from the bleed off valve arrangement. Open shut off valve number one. Remove the bleed off valve arrangement from test cock number two. And remove the sight tube from test cock number three. Next, attach the sight tube to test cock number four. Then attach the bleed off valve arrangement to test cock number three. Attach the hose from the high side of the MK3 to the bleed off valve arrangement on test cock number three. Then slowly open test cock number three. Open the high control valve on the MK3 and bleed air from the hose and the gauge. and close the high control valve. Open test cock number four to fill the sight tube with water. Then close test cock number four. Maintain the rate of change graph to be level with the top of the sight tube. Close shutoff valve number one. Slowly open test cock number four. Then, when water no longer flows from the sight tube or is no more than a drip and the reading on the MK3 has stabilized, press the capture button to record the pressure differential across the number two check valve. Close all test cocks. Remove the hose from the bleed off valve arrangement. Remove the bleed off valve arrangement. Remove the sight tube. Open shut off valves number one and two. And that concludes the double check valve assembly test.